As film is a subjective medium, this is just my opinion. Please make up your own mind about a film. P.S. You are awesome. Time for another movie review because if there's one thing YouTube needs, it's somebody else doing a movie review. And today's movie is Ready Player One. It's the new futuristic science fiction movie from master filmmaker Steven Spielberg. Set in the year 2045, in a dystopian future, aren't they all? People escape the realities of life by stepping into the Oasis, which is a massive virtual reality world. After the creator of the Oasis dies, he leaves an easter egg where people have to find the clues and if they get all the clues they will take control of the oasis. In this movie we'll meet Perceval who a young man who spends more time in his oasis it's where all his social interaction takes place he very rarely steps into the real world but he's also an expert on James Halliday which gives him a leg up in the competition but of course in this type of competition he's not the only one after it there's another company, the second biggest internet company in the world, also wants to take control of Oasis, which would make them number one. So the bad guy is played by Australian actor Ben Mendelsohn, who plays Sorrento, who will do anything to get control of the Oasis. So basically with everybody after the clues to take control of the Oasis, gives an excuse for you know a lot of chase scenes, and that type of thing. And the thing with the Oasis, you can be anything you want to be. So this gives the movie an excuse to make references to classic movie characters, modern day movie characters, gaming characters, that type of thing. There's a lot of pop culture references, which personally I didn't mind, but some people might think it's a bit of an overkill. There's even cameos from a couple of horror icons. There's even a reference to a classic horror movie. Okay, so there was some pretty decent action Pretty much most of it's set in the Oasis, and the special effects are impressive. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about the movie. I don't want to give too much away, but it did have an awesome 80s soundtrack, by the way. Okay, so I did enjoy it. Um, I had a lot of fun with it, but th I, I'm pretty sure this is one of those movies that's going to divide a lot of people. As for what I'm going to score it, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Didn't hate it, didn't love it, but it's still pretty entertaining. And yes, it's like I said, I like all the references in it, which I know some people will probably end up hating. But that's just me. Okay, that's all for now, and I'll see you again soon.